This DVD is intended to be used in conjunction with the existing racer owner's manual provided with each system. Whether you are an experienced rigger or new to the craft, the tips provided in this manual will make your job easier. The racer is the simplest reserve container to pack. It requires a minimum of tools, and when the canopies are properly sized to the container, there is little physical effort required. Today, we will demonstrate packing an Angel Fire 150 Reserve, designed and manufactured by Parachute Laboratories Incorporated. Before you begin to pack any reserve into a racer container, put your hands into the empty container to size it up. Observe the length and width of the pack tray and also the thickness of the rig. This will determine the size and shape of the folds you will make in the canopy. Do a complete inspection of harness, container, and canopy before you begin. Remember, this is an inspection cycle, not just a repack cycle. Prep the rig. Make sure the reserve ripcord is installed in the housing. Easier to do it now than when you're holding a pull-up cord in one hand and you're ready to pin. Put a piece of Velcro pile on the pin protector flap, or back door, as you will have to open and close it a few times while packing. Insert the closing loop threader tool through the cutters of the AAD. Put a brightly colored pull-up cord through the top loop of the threader tool. Put a bodkin through the bottom loop of the threader tool. Insert pull-up cords through the tops of the reserve risers. Later, these will go through the slots at the base of the reserve container. This will allow you to snug the risers down into place if needed after the reserve container is closed. Using your hemostats or crochet hook, retrieve the running ends of the quick loop out from under the hat. The quick loop is the adjustable closing loop tacked to the top of the spring. It's a single piece of spectra line finger trapped through itself in the middle. Replace the rubber bands on the speed bag if necessary. Use the appropriately sized Keener Mil-Spec rubber bands. There are two sizes, 2 inch diameter and 1 and a quarter inch diameter. Where the lines are bulky, use the 2 inch size. Where the lines are thin, use the 1 and a quarter inch size. The speed bag is sophisticated in concept, yet uncomplicated in design. It is quite simply the smartest deployment bag in parachuting today. By balancing the weight and mass of the line stows, the speed bag prevents line strip, which is the major cause of hard openings. And because every stow is a locking stow, the speed bag ensures that the lines come off the bag in an orderly fashion before the canopy gets out of the bag. It also ensures that the bag can't strip off the canopy, leaving it behind in the container tray, 
something the Velcro pouch and the bungee stow can't guarantee. Using a hemostat, clamp the two buffer tabs in the speed bag, the reserve deployment bag, to ensure a clear channel through which to feed your bodkin later on. Set deployment brakes by pulling the brake eye down through the guide ring and inserting the nose of the toggle through the brake eye. Excess lower control line is looped through the top of the riser or stowed in the Velcro keeper. We prefer stowing in the manner demonstrated here as it prevents wear on the line from coming into contact with the Velcro. You may use a weight bag to hold tension while you propack the canopy and to keep the risers even. Do a continuity check to ensure the lines are straight. Separate the four line groups below the slider and walk the slider up toward the canopy while lifting the canopy off the floor. Flake the nose, counting the cells as you go. Most sport reserves have seven cells. Some reserves have more cells. Our Racer Tandem 400 has nine. Grab the nose and give it a shake. This will effectively align all the seams. The objective of the Pro Pack is to divide the canopy in half and maintain that division throughout the pack job. Flake between the A and B lines using your whole arm. Flake between the B and C lines in the same fashion. Trace and clear the perimeter of the canopy, pulling stabilizers toward the outside of the bundle. Splay the nose, flaking three nose cells to the left and three nose cells to the right. The center cell stays in the middle. Lay the canopy on the floor and dress the folds and the tail, stacking all cord seams neatly over the center line. <laughs> 